brand new Avengers 4 details, leaks, image leaks, some, whatever you will, we got them, so let's talk about them. Uh, you won them, we got them. Whew, those white suits, <laughs> man. Very Bendis Guardians. Mm. If you look at Gamora and Rocket in his run, they're virtually oh, that's identical. that's true. Yeah. Virtually identical. Um, a lot of people are obviously pointing to the Earth Mightiest Heroes. Yep. Um, episode where they're all in space, which, I mean, gives... No. Uh, well, you can kind of see how the possible title plays into that and what they're taking from the comics. Well, uh, how about also the little thing that's on the box art that says New Foes? So it's not just oh, Thanos? I didn't, I didn't actually read it. Oh, but yeah, no, I, there, there's I suppose... a brand new foe that's going to be introduced. Ah, see, now, right, that makes sense. We we guaranteed a five-year time jump, mm -hmm. or at least a time jump. We knew there was going to be some form of time jump because they cast Cassie Lang, or they recast an older Cassie Lang. So we know there's some form of time skip. We know time is important to this movie. Um, obviously, we saw the set of photos where Stark and that man are back in time with the two Avengers 1, so time's going to be a factor in this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's like it seems to be the the consistent beat for everything that's come out about this movie. So, like, uh, if we see them, like, to give Infinity, like, the end of Infinity War, wait, a time jump, and seeing them go against someone makes perfect sense. Because it's just like, if you just started the next day, there's no wait to Infinity War. Exactly. And so if we see what they're doing their day to day now and how like and they're trying to get everything back or just trying to carry on with their lives. See, that's, new like, Makes sense. that's like the thing I want them to explore. And I think they will. It picks up five years after, right? What has transpired in these five exactly. years, you know, we, like how has earth like, moved yeah. along? Like, like in my mind, I feel like there's going to be people that are worshipping Thanos, being like, I was spared by the gods, you know? Like, I yeah, want to see that yeah. type of mentality and, like, what's yeah. happened to Earth. And then you introduce a new villain. Maybe they're fighting him at the start of the movie, and they defeat him 45 minutes in, and then Thanos comes back, like, this is our ultimate plan. But, you I know... say, just Age of Ultron it. Just have, yeah. like, the first fuck, 10, maybe 20 minutes be a new villain, and done. Yep. No, it's it's literally the perfect time to have that sort of scene. Like, look, this is where they are. This is how the world works now. This is how they work. This is how absolutely batshit insane Tony Stark's gotten because everything he's been worrying about for the last six years happened. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's why they're all wearing white suits. You know, everything. I'm glad you brought back, you know, Age of Ultron as a kind of a mention because I feel that that movie, once we wrap up Avengers 4, we're going to look back on it being like, have you all noticed all these little pieces of things that end up being like Scarlet Witch's visions and all that? Like, I feel that's going to have a lot more meaning by the time yeah. Avengers Four well, is over. Why do you say that? Because she does say the the quotation leaked title in that movie. Mm. She does tell Vision that she sees annihilation in his head. Which, right. Apparently, the title, which huh. is a hell of a story around that title. True. <laughs> It's just like, oh, it's, it's Annihilation. It's like, Ruffalo's going to confirm it, but Ruffalo said the last Avenger, but they bleeped it out. No. Yep. Like, is it the title? Is it not? And it's just like, if it is the title, they lost the power, but they instantly got the power back. Because you can't confirm or debunk that it's Annihilation at this point. That's true, yeah. But um, like, let's just say, for the shits and gigs, it is. Like, there's, no, that they trolled everyone just to get the power back for the marketing. Because they haven't got to do this. No, not at I all. I don't know why they're like, really doing it, but for, it's, it's just free marketing, like you always say. But, like, no, the the fact that there's no title on the toys. Yeah. <laughs> so, it also kind of lends me to believe that, like, they are playing a little troll game here. Oh, like, like I've told people, imagine it's the weekend of New York Comic Con. Aquaman trailer just dropped. You're not even there, but the simple idea that the title might leak was trending ahead of all the official yeah. releases at New York Comic Con. They got us by the balls so good that they don't even have to show up, and one of their actors just has to tweet something, and they'll be trending for 48 hours. Like, that is marketing. Like, that's what you but, want, you know? But that, that wasn't even planned. Yeah. 
there's no way that's planned. Like, what was it? MCU Cosmic Jeremy Conrad Manabite on Twitter. Like, he's like, oh yeah, Annihilation. Like, that's the title. And uh-huh. it's like, they're going like shit. Like, because it was all the next day. Right. And they, they filmed, what, was he on Fallon? Is that the show he was on? Yeah, they filmed it like that morning. Yeah. And it's like, I think they film it morning, afternoon time. I'm not sure which. And it's like, and then he tweets that out, and that's on really late at night. So why would they ever have the title reveal then? Mm-hmm. They don't do stuff on a rival network. Exactly. Middle of the night. So it, it gives credence to uh, the leak that is Annihilation, right. personally, anyway. But, you know, that they, but then with the toys, there's no title on there. So they could, if they want, it, they could just change it. Because even if it has got out and it was supposed to be Annihilation, at this point, I can just go, well, there's no proof. Exactly. And That's what it change, is. Change it to this. But um, a lot of people are confused why it's called Annihilation. Because obviously there's the event Annihilation with the Guardians and the overall Annihilation yep. wave. Um, it's obviously going to be nothing like that. But oh, nothing, if you, yeah. <laughs> if you look at the what if annihilation wave hit earth that ends in a very interesting way that fits perfectly with this movie because it's tony and cap making up over civil war which they haven't done yet in the movies hmm. and they have a last stand on the moon and it looks like they have spacesuits from oh, that wow. toy leak yeah so all you have to do is take out nova from the comic and put in thor and you have the big three ending on the moon oh Oh, that, Mitch, <laughs> you just may be depressed because if we would have had a goddamn Inhumans movie, they would have been at the stupid front lines. God they damn won't. it. Because, because spoilers, the Inhumans play a massive part in that what-if storyline as well because they're the ones that get annihilated on the moon. I, I'm done this podcast. I'm just going to cry in my pillow for the rest of the day. Now I'm... De- yep. uh, 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 damn I, I saw that. I saw that title and I was like, hold on. No, it's not going to be the usual in the box sinking. It's going to be from a, that what if. It's just like, oh, oh no. Oh. no. That's what I think. I, no, I think that's what's going to happen. I mean, it'd be that's a smart it, choice. Yeah. You know, it's... If, if the title is called Annihilation, that's exactly why it's called Annihilation. Because it's from that what if, not the actual event. Yeah. But... That would honestly be pretty cool. And I, I, I honestly, I like that title. Okay. It's just it's a good title. It also it I wasn't annihilation actually means like the conversion of matter into energy, or energy into matter or something like that. Mm-hmm. Which it makes sense because you're bringing like have you have you seen that the lineup of Infinity War and the Ant Man post credit scene? Uh, Where the snap happens and then all the oh yes, stuff it's stuff perfect. Like, God, so it's kind of like that's too coincidental for me. So I think everyone is in the quantum realm. Uh, it's yeah. just energy. You, know, you can't destroy or create matter or energy, whatever it is, which one. So you just displace it and put it in the quantum realm. So energy, matter, annihilation. Uh, that's, that's if it is that title. But... True. Well, like we said, yeah. they could change it at any point, but I feel like I think it's a pretty good title. Like... It's a really good title. Mm-hmm. No. So again, it's also another 2000s title. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, rest assured, guys, in the next two months, we will officially have our teaser, and we will know the name, and probably have our first look at the poster. So, it's only a matter of time, guys. It's it's happening. <laughs> like, they can't possibly delay it, you know, anymore. No. Uh, when was the Infinity War? Right was around first... this time, um, right around November. Uh, 29th of November. So... For everyone who's just going on every Marvel Twitter video on YouTube and Facebook or wherever going, where's my trailer? You know exactly what your trailer is. Yep, November 29th. And, so align yeah. it up with stuff that's coming out in November and December and yeah. think about how many big movies are coming and where you want to yeah. attach it. Just just think for a second. You could probably paint the picture on there. You know? I, I wonder what Disney movie they'd want um, an Avengers trailer to be attached to. Hmm. Um, it might be a sequel to a very classic one. Hmm. Starring someone who should have been Black Widow. But <laughs> mm, mm. I wonder. I wonder where it's going to be. So, but, yeah. yeah uh, we'll be back with more Avengers 4 talk rather soon.